I was at a time in my life where it felt as if the world had come to a halt, a complete stop. As I sat at my mom's right side, my little sister on her left, her arms wrapped tightly around us and tears beginning to fall from her face. She broke out the words, mommy's cancer is back. As a 12-year-old kid, I don't believe that there are words that can fully describe the feeling of anger, confusion, and sadness I felt on that day. I hated the fact that this was my mom's fourth overall battle of cancer. I didn't understand why God kept bringing this horrible disease back into her life. And it killed me, knowing that she was going to be in pain again, and that there wasn't a thing I could do to stop it. Growing up, whether it was watching TV next to my mom every night, the countless board games that she took part in with my little sister and I, or her going outside to play horse or to toss a baseball around with me when she probably didn't feel her best. My mom was my everything. Even when she put me in my place for having a messy room or for not hanging my wet towels up after showering. My mom was my rock, my inspiration. She was my warrior. And she was the heart that kept mine beating and I couldn't bear the thought of losing her. Unfortunately, in August of 2013, a little over a year after her final diagnosis, I did lose my mom. As I sat at her hospital bedside holding her hand as she took her last breaths, I was devastated at a complete loss. Just a week prior to her passing, she was still working at her job. You know, she, would, she would drive home after her day at work, she'd walk inside and she'd be welcomed by her dog and cats running up with excitement to see her. Every evening she would come home and lift up our days with her bright smile contagious laughter, and positive personality. It was difficult for me to grasp there in that hospital room that this was the final goodbye. But deep down, beside the, beside the shock and disbelief, I began to feel a sense of strength and a sense of hope after recalling a conversation I had with my mom days before she passed. She told me to trust in God to keep believing. She assured me that her sickness was in God's hands and that he has a plan for each and every one of us a plan greater than we can ever imagine possible. That sense of purpose that my mom instilled in me grew with each day that passed. I started to develop this hope that I could help others going through hard times, that I could inspire those around me, that I could make a difference. Because of my mom, I was inspired to change the world, and during my seventh grade school year, I set out to do just that. Learning at an early age how sports relate to life in so many ways that in sports, just as in life, you get knocked down and you have to find courage to stand back up, I felt led to create a Twitter account, an account that I, that I ended up naming Athlete Nation. My goal is to help people by tweeting inspirational messages that relate to both sports and life. Today, Athlete Nation has gathered over 70,000 followers and has a monthly outreach of over 6 million people. Beyond those numbers, I've had, I've had responses from followers over the years saying that there were times when I posted words that were exactly what they needed to get them through the day. Without my mom and the positive impact that she had on me, I wouldn't have this platform. When calling to mind who my mom was, I'm always amazed by how strong and how faithful she was, considering she battled cancer as a freshman in high school, was told that she'd never have children, and was diagnosed with cancer a total of three times as an adult. With all that my mom went through, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine going through that kind of adversity and still having a positive outlook on life, yet that's what my mom did. And while a good portion of her life was spent battling cancer, she never let that six-letter word define her. She only allowed cancer to be a, a chapter in her life story instead of letting it be her life story. She never let it dictate the way that she lived her life, how people treated her, or how she treated others. She never used it as a crutch, but rather as a reason to make the most of every day and to leave a positive impact on the people around her. It's almost been three years since my mom went to heaven, and, and if she were here today, I'd, I'd tell her that while my room isn't always as clean as it, sh as it probably should be, and while I don't always eat as healthy as I probably could, the impact that she had on me is immeasurable. I'd tell her that she's still my superhero and my role model, that I strive to be like her every day. I'd tell her that every time I go to tweet positive messages to over 70,000 people, her unshakable faith always comes to mind. Most importantly, I tell her that there's not a moment that passes where I don't wish upon the world to have her back. But until I see her again, I tell her that I love her, that I will make her proud, and that I will keep her legacy alive. Thank you.